Hi, this is Ty Kevin eighty three speed runs again here, coming at you again today with another update video today about the Task Videos website. You can see on my screen right here the current Task Videos website. Let's go over quickly some outstanding problems with the Task Videos website. Big one, obvious glaring issue with the existing Task Videos website. Look at this little not secure guy in the upper left. Your connection to the site is not secure. A lot of people slowly becoming less able to use the site as people's security goes higher and higher, requiring HTTPS often to browse the web. And with, especially with us having a login system, we really need to be switching over to HTTPS. Now, point two, styling. The text is very small generally. It's kind of scattered, no consistent theming, some blurriness like with these archive.org icons and other icons here. Uh, huge swaths of empty space in with no consistency, and uh, the thing is generally butting up against the very edge of the screen in a lot of ways. You know, like the icon here, the text here, the far left. Uh, lots of not great design choices for uh, potential mobile users or other people. Um, so there, there's there's issues there, and then we scroll to the bottom. Um, it's it's a lot more empty space here, but nothing too crazy. Let's go to the forums. Let's check out one more quick issue. We go to the forum. Oh, it looks like a completely different site now. We don't have the banner. We don't have any of the other like navigation links. Just this link back to the main site. We scroll to the bottom. Oh, 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 dear God. What's this? To copyright 2005. Um, yeah, that's not great. That's 16 years ago. We can probably have the site based on technologies that aren't 16 years old and unsupported. <laughs> So that, that's a not, not great system. Um, so yeah, we need to clean that up a bit. And we actually, we have, there's a new, there's a new site. So let's switch over. This is the demo site. This is the new task video site. It's built in .NET 5 uh, based on uh, the C Sharp programming language, Microsoft's .NET framework, especially with version five integrating the .NET core changes into a single .NET is amazing and it's a great web development platform overall. And Adelicat has graciously taken the task of re-implementing the entire website in .NET when it was originally in PHP. And uh, this newer .NET technology is just amazing. And it's allowed us to reintegrate with a lot of other new technologies like using Bootstrap 5 for theming. So we've got this navigation uh, icon Login. All of all of this top bar is themed using Bootstrap 5 and a lot of other things on this page here. And as we scroll down, you can see copyright 2021 task videos at the bottom. It's consistent theming into the forum. No different website there. No different look. And just, yeah, generally the whole website re-implemented over uh, in C Sharp and using Bootstrap for theming. Now, there's one other, uh, well, there's two other cool quirks here that I wanted to show you guys on top of everything I mentioned already. Now, we have HTTPS support, big win. Not going to have problems as more and more browsers require HTTPS and, and uh, networks and other things. Um, and then also, we have the benefit of this little theme switcher I designed. This is something I personally designed for the website. The ability to switch between dark and light mode or also automatically theme the site based on the presence of dark mode in your system settings. So you can see the bottom, my Windows taskbar is in dark mode. And so when I went auto on the options here, it changed the website to be dark theme to match my Windows taskbar. And if I go back to the light theme, I can force that even though my system isn't in that theme. And also for people who don't have the ability with their system settings to, to change a, to a system dark mode, we have here, you can just click dark instead of auto. And then those users could use the dark mode even if they don't have their, the ability to set their system to dark mode. So that's all available there. And it's using Bootstrap 5 and native CSS variables to run that theming system. So it's a very efficient, very uh, clean code and very maintainable. Now, again, let's look at the difference. If we just swap between you, the boxes here are making efficient use of the space. 
the empty space is in defined columns on the left and right. And there's good margins around the icon and text in the upper left instead of butting right into the corner. We also have this little uh, nice little quirk where the icon of Mega Man in the upper left is the darker uh, Mega Man 8 bass icon when we go to the dark theme. And uh, another small quirk that I'll just highlight, because since we're doing the sneak preview, there is an additional optimization I added with the icons so that when you zoom in, they retain the 16-bit retro blocky pixels. Whereas if you were to zoom in on Mega Man on the old site, well, for one, the site becomes unusable completely. Unlike the new site where the the header just resizes to fit or goes down to the mobile size and everything just continues working totally fine. But there's this additional benefit of I made it so that the icon has the ability to preserve the crisp pixelation of the 16-bit retro pixel art, uh, even as you zoom in. So if we go here and go back to the light theme and scroll up where we have Mega Man. Look at that Mega Man versus that Mega Man. I love the 16-bit retro theming there. That I, I just I think that's so crisp, and I really appreciate that. Now if we zoom back out a bit, you can see again the space preservation. And if we go to the forum, we have the forum in light mode. We have the forum in dark mode. We have all this being built out. And I'm really excited about this. And I just wanted to make a quick video and show you this progress because I love the HTTPS support. I and the new site is also open source. I'm going to link in the description of this video where you guys can see the source code of the new site if you want to contribute maybe or if you just want to check out and, and you're interested in what the code looks like feel free to take a dip in i'm really excited about the direction of the new site and i just wanted to give you guys that sneak preview we have a couple of issues outstanding before go live but this this is intended soon to replace the main code of taskvideos.org and bring it into the modern state of web development so i'm super excited if you guys appreciated this content, would love if you could drop a like, drop a uh, subscription, ring the bell, you know, you know, I'll do all the fun things on the channel. Stay in contact. We are going to be continuing to pull the Thai Community 3 speedruns resources into things like improving emulators, improving documentation of tasking, Ted the task spot scene, and now also even improving the task video site itself with this revolution around uh, taskvideos.org. So th thank you guys so much and have a wonderful, excellent day.